Hello all and welcome to Solaris Combat Theory with Ball One Gaming. In our last episode, we discovered that evasion caps at 90%, despite the fact that evasion will appear to go beyond 90% in the ship designer screen. Today, we're going to put this cap to the test and see what evasion really caps at. That is, today we'll answer the question of whether it's worth designing a ship with more than 90% evasion. This is Combat Theory 2.0. Today's episode is going to be a bit shorter since we're testing a very specific stat. But it's also a very important stat because it'll tell us how useful Corvettes can be in the late game. So, first, we know that evasion caps out at 90%, which we determined in the last episode of Stellaris Combat Theory. What we want to figure out today is when that cap is applied and whether it's worthwhile to build a Corvette with evasion above 90%, as I said earlier. See, the way a weapon's accuracy works is like this. Take your weapon's tracking and accuracy, and your target's evasion. Subtract the tracking from the evasion to get the effective evasion, which can be zero at the lowest. There's no such thing as negative evasion. Then, subtract this effective evasion from the accuracy, and that's your effective accuracy. For example, let's say we have a target with 40% evasion, like a destroyer, and we want to shoot it with a weapon with 80% accuracy and 20% tracking. Following the formula from above, we take the target's evasion of 40%, subtract the tracking of 20%, and get an effective evasion of 20%. Then we take the weapon's accuracy of 80% and subtract the effective evasion of 20%. And this gives us an effective accuracy of 60%. As such, in this example, our weapon would have a 60% chance to hit with each shot. What we want to know from this video is whether this calculation uses the capped evasion stat or if it would use the uncapped evasion stat. That is to say, we want to know if evasion is capped, or if effective evasion is capped. That's because if effective evasion is capped, and not just evasion, then it is worthwhile to build a Corvette with over 90% evasion in the ship design. But, if only evasion is capped, then 90% is our hard cap, and it's not worthwhile to design a Corvette with evasion above 90%. That is to say, we're trying to see if building a ship with high evasion will eat up an enemy ship's high tracking stat, or if the tracking stat will just go against the hard cap for evasion. It's a bit confusing conceptually, but trust me, I did find a way to test this, and the results make it a lot simpler. Our test involves using two Corvette models, Model A and Model B. Model A has 90% evasion and Model B has 125% evasion, in the ship designer, of course. They'll be facing off against a test barge battleship that is carrying only artillery, with native 75% accuracy and 0% tracking. However, it has modules that will boost accuracy by 10 and tracking by 15, giving it overall 85% accuracy and 15% tracking total. This means against Model A, we'll expect 10% of the shots to land, plain and simple. But, for Model B, if evasion is hard capped at 90%, then again, 10% of the shots will land. But if it's effective evasion that's capped, and not regular evasion, then we expect 0% of the shots to land. So, for this test, I've equipped no weapons to the Corvettes, so the accuracy stat listed in the combat screen will show us, hopefully, only the effective accuracy of the artillery. So, we'll simply send a large swarm of Corvettes, say 80, against 10 battleship barges, so that we can get an arbitrarily large number of shots. And as we run the test, we can see overall that the accuracy is 10% for both Model A and Model B. As such, we have our results, and we now know that evasion is hard capped at 90%. As such, because evasion is hard capped, we know it's not worthwhile to build a Corvette, or any other ship for that matter, with evasion above 90%, making evasion modules such as afterburners and enigmatic encoders a bit less useful than normal. We also know that because evasion is hard capped, any additional tracking is highly valuable for large weapons, because any additional tracking will effectively lower the hard cap by that amount. Put another way, Say we get our weapon accuracy to 100% for all our weapons, and if we have level 4 sensors, which add 15 tracking to all weapons, including strike craft, then we've essentially lowered the evasion cap from 90 to 75, because 90 minus 15 is 75. 
So, this means that we know for certainty that Corvettes will become much less effective in the late game as their primary defensive stat is hard capped, and that hard cap can be lowered. In summary, the two things we learned from today are as follows. Number one, don't design a ship with over 90% evasion because it's a waste of design. Number two, evasion becomes worse as the game goes on because more tracking becomes available. So, Perhaps this is nothing too revolutionary today, but it's good to know exactly what our limits are and where we stand. And now we know our limits for evasion. As always, if you think I overlooked something in today's episode, or if you got an idea for a different episode, let me know in the comments below. Next week we'll have a nice long episode, because we'll be looking at Battleship Spinal Weapons again. So brace yourselves for that. But until then, I'll say so long for now, and see you next time, Space Cowboys. Enjoy the video? Well, hey, you should consider subscribing, or maybe checking out some of these other videos, or hey, why don't you leave a like? It'll help the channel grow. Or you can leave me a comment, maybe give me an idea for another video. Anyway, I'll see you next time.